This is pointless. I know where I'm gonna strike before I do it. Here for a fight. Which one of you is my guy? Me! Wasn't expecting a tag team, but whatever, I guess. So, who do I got first? No, no. You don't get it. That body and this one. I'm the same person. So, what? I'm seeing double? I used to be twins, which you could probably guess. The twins had a close bond. They wanted to be closer, stronger. They installed neural oscillation sinks, and now they're, well, me. me. One, One person, person two, bodies. two bodies. My bodies do everything together. Everything. I guess it fucked you two up. Not you two. It's just me. And where's the sportsmanship? Sheesh. Come back when you wise up. Be waiting. You really do everything together, even under the sheets. I have one girlfriend for both bodies. If that's what you're asking. Shared between both. So, what? One takes waist up and the other's on booty duty? No, she's with one body Monday through Wednesday and the other Wednesday through Sunday. Frick. Fine, but we're raising the stakes. Fair. See, no problem with that. So, so can, can we, we get, get started? started? Show me what you got. Enough like your brother, or hungry for more? That ain't my brother. Oh, that's me. Jesus, what's so hard to understand? Here, your winnings. Do it all. Don't worry. There's always the next fight. Stop talking to yourself! Listen, out of curiosity, you guys can read each other's thoughts. No, no. Same person, same, person, same, same thoughts. thoughts. If that weren't the case, I'd be on schizoid meds. Incredible. Well, it's good to see you transition from circus ring to boxing ring. Give me a break. Arostovich? You blind motherfucker. Tetronic We got a fight here. You buck. In the flesh. <laughs> Looking at you's making my wallet wet. Yo, I'm putting all I got against you. Hmm. No lack in confidence, I see. And I'll show you why. This arm's military issue. Titanium bones, carbon fiber. Could punch a hole through a tank if I wanted. So, we got a deal? Was that piss I smell dripping down your leg? This rifle. Grad, as you said. Where'd you get it? A little souvenir from when I served. Why? Just curious. Heard that was a limited series. Only 300 manufactured. KGB issue. Well, well. I see I got a gun enthusiast on my hands. But we ain't here to talk iron. We're here to break bones and crack chrome. So, you accept my offer or not? I don't know. I'll raise you instead. Told you already. 
I'm laying out all I got. Ah, uh, toss in the sniper. I mean, that is, unless you're scared. Of you? I don't give a fuck about you. Done. Rifle's on the table. Follow me. You ready? Not too scared, are you, Buttercup? <laughs> I look forward to it. Like that? You like getting your ass beat, huh? I'll rip that tongue out. Come on, hand over the rifle. Oh, my rotten meat! Get him! Here we go! God damn! Said you were looking for work. And I found it! You say Zar. No! I'm here for my fight. Yeah, that's me. The toughest hijo de puta in the Glen. Mm hmm. And the worst father in Night City. Michaela, baby! I know what I'm doing. You gotta I'm not trust talking me. to you. First, you spent a fortune on Chrome, and now. I... Ugh. I give up. Beat some sense into him for me, okay? He needs a good lesson. Michaela! Michaela, wait for fuck's sake! Listen, I need a lot of scratch and fast. That's why I'm only taking serious wagers. I'm putting my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. All right, let's talk. What's the car? A real gem, a tuned up 2056 classic, but with only 20,000 miles on her. No dings, no patch jobs. Uh-huh, and stolen? No, 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 none of that. She's legit. Give you my word. Listen, you don't like the deal? Don't take it. Just don't drag this out. Time is money, and I'm running out of both. What are you waiting for? Okay. 
Okay, I'll match it. We good? All good. Let's go. So bare hands only, right? No pulling any mono wires or mantis blades out of your ass? Right. I asked because the last guy I fought tried to surprise me with long spurs. Anyway, you ready to start? Yep. Ready to rumble. Careful now. I don't fuck around. for me. Pleasure doing biz. I got rubber to burn. Da mierda. She was a beauty. Hold it, Worm. You think you can just get in for free? What is this place? If you don't know, then you sure as hell don't belong. Out of my fucking way. What? You think you're some kind of hot shit you can get in anywhere? Nothing to think about. I know it. So step the fuck aside. All right. Fucking go. Later. The fuck you want? Well, who's next? Anyone else? Got a fight lined up here. That's so. Don't look familiar to me. You fresh meat here? Could say that. Well, watch yourself then. They don't like strangers here. One wrong look, and you're crawling through the gutter on busted legs. But you defeat me. I can vouch for you to the right folks. You could use the equipment, meet with the trainer, that kind of stuff. Uh, thanks. Appreciate it. I'd say you're welcome, but there's still the matter of defeating me. And full disclosure, I've never lost a fight. We not throwing any eddies on this match? No. When the cash comes in, it just muddles the whole sport. I'm here for fights, and the fights alone. Say, who's running this club? Name's Logan Garcia. Used to be the best damn boxer in Night City. Who knows? Maybe in all the states. Not overselling it a bit there? Just watch him in action. You'll see. You say you've never lost. I say there's a first time for everything. Ha! Sorry to say, you'll be disappointed. Come on.
Got any good tech under the hood? Sensory filters, rotors, boosted core? You're about to find out. Ah! True, true. All right then, shall we? Let's get to it. Good luck. You'll need it.
okay, okay. I quit. I'm done. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun. Ah, fuck. Hey, hey, calm down. Calm down? You want fucking calm? Ah! Oh, I... Uh, I'm so sorry. You're not used to losing. I know. Mm-hmm. And I don't ever want to be. Listen, I'm done for today. But first, I'll make sure no one bothers you. Make yourself at home. Allez dans l'autre bord gros là. Captain nous. Carrie, hey. You got plans this evening? Cancel. Go to Dark Matter on Woodland. Might not know the place. Don't really advertise. Well, what's the occasion? Us cracks. We never celebrated our little victory. Go around back, tell the bouncer you're with me. Let you in, no problem. Don't be late. Start the out. Great to see you, Pete. So. What now? What now, he said. <laughs> the title match. You go up against Razor Hughes. Heard of him, haven't you? I think I've seen posters. He's a pro boxer, right? He is the boxer. You had your head buried in the sand? Never thought I'd see him here. Because, you know, he's a star athlete with elite corporal sponsors. But then his agent tells us it's a good PR move for him. Razor returning to his roots and all that. Prove he's still a kid from the streets. Do I even have a shot? <laughs> a good question. You could be very good. This guy, he's a machine. Carbon fiber, titanium bones, hydraulic joints. All optimized by Night City's best bio engineer. I don't know. Maybe Victor will have some tips, tricks. What, Vic's here? What? You think he'd miss an occasion like this? But listen, I'll be honest. Don't look too good here. But maybe that's better, you know? If Razor's winning anyway, maybe you're looking to earn a little something on it. Hit me with it. No, not here. Too many ears around. Let's step aside. Yo, Rhino. I see you're keeping busy. Next time, I'm wiping the floor with you. You'll see. What I'm going to say has to be between us, all right? Cut the drama, what's this about? Well, V, I'll get right to it. I know sports ought to be fair, but life sure ain't. I'm not wrong, am I? Razor's manager wants a star to shine. He wants the whole city to hear about the hurt he put on this ring. My point. Pull some punches. Forget to put that guard up sometimes. And get comfortable on the ground. How much? A lot. More than you'd earn by winning. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> New from the start, you have good instincts. Come on, let's get back before people start to talk. 
Sorry, uh, but could we talk, please? Just a minute, promise. Sure, what about? Not what, but who? Razor. My dad fought him once. A long time ago, when Razor just got started. My dad fell in the third round. The ref stopped the fight. But Razor didn't stop. Three more minutes, he beat my dad. He survived, but... I can imagine. Where's the story going? Nowhere. It's finished. Like my old life. Like my life now. Just... I want Razor punished for what he did. I need him to know how he made my dad feel. That's why I'm here, little girl. Th thanks. I'll cross my fingers for you. Alright, so are you two ready to fight? What? One round! All it's gonna take for you to kiss my feet! Beg for mercy! Right, uh -huh. I'm ready. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, night citizens, it's time for our heavyweight boat. Facing each other tonight, we have Razor Hughes and Vic, what are you doing here? What do you mean? I came to see the fight of the year. Everybody on the street's buzzing about it. Don't let me down now, you hear? V, hey, how are your spirits before the fight? Good. My knuckles are itching. <laughs> Don't get far in this sport without confidence. But you know, positive thinking's only gonna get you so far against an opponent like Razor. How do you mean? The guy's a tank. Seriously. Nanofiber, real skin, shock absorbers. You can knock him on the head with a meat mallet. And he wouldn't even flinch. Appreciate the pet talk. Hold on now. I'm not done. He's got a weakness. Had some abdominal muscles swapped out a week ago, and they haven't taken to him fully just yet. <laughs> you hit him there? It's gonna hurt a lot. Thanks, Vic. I'll keep it in mind. You two ready? At the gong. Uh-huh! Let's get it! Let's start this thing. It's got Hit him in the gut! Think this is how it ends? Did, did I just let you out my grip? You'd be wise to. Don't think you could take it out of the beating. This ain't no between us. We'll meet again. Tomorrow, next year. This definitely ain't the last. Yeah, see you around then. I suggest you train in the meantime. That was a dirty move. Damn dirty. Ah, now that is boxing.
Congrats. Well done. Really? Congrats. Slick work, V. Well, I had a good coach in my corner. A loss! That's what I'm telling you! The fuck you mean backing out? All of them? You fucking shitting me! No, I don't know what the fuck now! Ain't you the goddamn manager? It's your job! Yeah, yeah. It went perfect, and Razor lost. How much? Uh, tons? A few thousand at least? <laughs> what can I say? I'm a good actor. <laughs> Quite the sharp little con artist. Wait, no, uh, I can explain everything. No need. Earn what you can, how you can. Near the gym, there's this walkway where people are falling off the map. Find out what's going on. Just don't disappear yourself. in the bar? It is. But it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. See? Hey, Don't back off. Are to You're busy. Bar. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. June, fuck off. Or I implant my blade in your ribs. Really? I wonder what Mama Wells would say. What she'd do when she sees you two gonks fucking up her joint. My bet she'd whip out a shotgun and blast your heads off. Hey, right, come on, baby. No work. No work out. Yo, fuck you! Carajo. Fucking punk! Well, what? What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? Because you would have caught a beating. Or worse. This fucking town, these people? Just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, the uh, bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you then? On the house. Don't say no to a free drink. The good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Base on it. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Sure she's cheating on you. Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Size that? Well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. 
different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there is a way around every test now. Why you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... Hmm. She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Okay, fine. I'm in. You're my hero, V. Means a lot to me. C.D. Barr's betrayal of beguiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story, an unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. Are you about done? I'm trying to focus. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day, the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up. I'm a fucking puke. Now read that. is a bum, gives him a wide berth, doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, wh what did I ever do to you? close again something just drew me to her like one magnet to another Ugh! stop the dame disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse the air hung heavy with smog and betrayal Ugh! maybe it's a good thing i'm dying hey careful you'll tear my shirt well 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 doing here? Fuck, Cynthia. Told you to make sure nobody followed you.
Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See who was right. No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper, a specialist in plastic surgery. A specialist in this dump. Look, I know, I, I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec, uh, what about your kid? Here's the thing, I, oh, I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I, I don't look anything like the old me. But why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom, because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but... There was never a good time, and... And now that I'm expecting again, it... Oh, it... it, it wasn't... It wasn't planned. Please, uh, tell him, tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just, just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job's done. Followed your wife. Went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least, not in the way you think. Huh? What way, then? She was at a ripper's getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes... It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So, my son. That's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Her own husband, ten fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever. It's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay. Yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See? That's more like it. Finally making some sense. No, oh, V. V, you never learn, do you? Oh, is it chat time? Oh, come on, hit me with those pearls of wisdom and get this over with. You laugh, but 50 years in purgatory? Enough time for a guy to get his head on straight. Come to some conclusions. Namely? People don't change. Especially not people like Kirk. I think I don't know. Am I lending Kirk cred for a new Kuroshi? Are we going into biz together? No. Of course something stinks. But in this town, you can't just wrinkle your nose and look the other way. Came up in these streets, Johnny. I can take care of myself. Sure, hope so, V. Hey, 
Hey, Kirk. Been a while. V? Holy shit! Barely recognize you. See, you haven't changed. Not a single bit. Huh. Well, you know me? I'm old-fashioned like that. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? So come on, sit down. I'll spill you the deets. Start talking. All right, all right. Listen, job's simple. Got a van standing not far from here, brimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. You feel me? Specifics, Kirk. What's in the van? Militech implants. Experimental series. Shit you can't get on the street. Straight out of some lab in Shanghai. And who does it belong to? Jesus, V, who the fuck cares? Once we take it, it's ours. So, can I count on you or not? Sounds too good to be true. Oh, fuck it. It's worth a shot, at least. Count me in. Oh, it's true, all right. Anyways, send you the cohorts. See you at the spot. Later. What's up, Kirk? Happy to see you too, but how about let's not broadcast it, hmm? Right, right, sorry. No need for a scene. Okay, see that garage right there? Van's inside. You go in, grab the tech, get out, we split it 50-50. Clear? You scan the area, anyone inside? All clear, V. Not a soul can waltz right in like you own the place. I thought this was a job for two. Looks like I'm carrying all the weight here. All the weight? All the fucking weight? Who's gonna keep watch? Me, of course. Anything happens, you'll know. Nope, don't like the split. Two thirds for me, one for you. Know what? Sure. You're all right, V. A pro, a pal. Chum like you is hard to find in this town. Okay, in I go. Head on a swivel, right? You got it. I'll clear my ass.
Go, motherfuckers, go! What the... What the fuck is this? Clothes? Mm-hmm. Cheap knockoffs, too. Had real great intel, that Kirk. Like always, actually. But hey, could strike out on your own. Open up a stand in Kabuki, or maybe... Implants? Fucking Militech wear. I'ma shove these duds right up his ass. <laughs> Shit. Now firefight. Wow, the fun's just getting started. Have a good time. Oh, fucking fuck. Oh, look, another gunk. How oh, you like those combat implants, Chum? <laughs> Very funny to you. The fuck is going on here? You're Chum Kirk. Did biz time to time, but see, had this funny feeling he was trying to play me. Checked out that feeling, told him I had a transport, cream implants, just sitting there for the taking. And I waited. See, the prank worked. Yep, sure did. Isn't that right, boys? I should splatter your brains on the pavement, but I'd just be wasting lead. Only a fucking gonk could run an op with Kirk. Hey, don't give me that face. You are what you fucking do. So say it. Say you're a gonk little b Tell anyone to scrape him up and put him under? No one to tell. Nervous, Tom? How'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does. Just different program. You're great at that. So glad you came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. Remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. You got no time to deliberate, weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Breeze, tense up for even a second, could cost you your life. Got it? And Maiko, where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. All right, we going in? 
Let's do this. Right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Stay sharp. Game ruins might be lurking. Provides three hundred and thirty percent recommended daily vitamins. Feeling tired. Powerless. Gotta jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? But then, everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at clouds. We go on Michael's signal. They'll... I'll mop up security, you deal with her only. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. You gonna breach security? Get me in the penthouse? Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Gotta manage on your own. You're not coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. And besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. Okay. On my way. Elevators on the other side. 
Be safe. the nearest door for a taste of sweet, 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 clean speed. Cause life is too short to be slow. How's the sitch? We're inside it clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. Set sail for flavor with Capitan Sally and Jay's world famous tacos. Now in real size. One euro dollar for an ocean of taste. <laughs> All right, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful, though, okay? On my mark. Go! I'll be late. I told you, I have shit tons of work. No, don't. Get up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway. Love you too. Yeah.
They punched the alarm. Not if I got anything to say about it. Jesus, fuck! Floor's clear! I killed them! I killed them all! Same here! Go to the surveillance cam in front of the security room. I was hoping you'd make less trouble getting here. Luckily, they're all jacked into virtues. It'd be game over otherwise. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. Not all girls have to be nice, Johnny. Besides, she's got to deal with the gang. She shouldn't be. Could have called off the guards, you know. Would have been quicker, simpler. I don't have that kind of authority. Yet. Why are there three guys? What she play? That's at? our target, Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll, specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. You don't have authority yet. You sound damn sure of yourself. Left no room for error. We're exactly where we need to be. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. 
One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? All right, I'll do what I can. Jack him out. Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. And now he's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I the one Hold on, Michael. I think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Hiromi's gotta go. So I have been told. And what then? Would you execute all the clients and leave the doors to fuck one another instead? Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. Now you're fucked! I love this job! God damn it! Fiend, what the hell were you thinking? Have you any idea what's gonna happen now? Matter of fact, I do. Either you walk away and never come back to Clouds, or I end you here and now. I see you got everything planned out, but you forgot just one thing. I've also got a doll chip. All right, V, get out of there. Exit's on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. are outside and safe. They weren't followed. Get down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. Fuck. Should have seen that coming. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gonk. Don't be dramatic, Judy. There's a difference between being a gonk and believing people want to do good. I know you do. I don't need to believe that. I just know it. Thank you. See you later, V. See you around, Judy. This elevator is out of order. Sorry. If it's out of order, why are you here? Out of order for Carrie Uridine's guests, too? He's expecting me. In that case, enjoy your evening.
example. The rock's not dead. Oh, yet again. And I'm part of that evolution. These girls are energizing. What? Electrifying. They asked me to lay down a new track with them. The rest is rock history. Harry, gotta say you look great. Uh, but it wasn't that long ago. Hey! This is V, my, uh, right hand. V's the little bird that shows up when I gotta wrap up and run. Sorry. V, V, quick question. What's it like hanging with Carrie Uridine, a living legend? V! Well, as you might imagine, it is legendary. But the juiciest details, I keep to myself. Thanks, but I really gotta run. Late for my next thing already. Let's go. Unless you feel like giving a few more interviews. New track. Pretty sweet. Oh, thank you to Kerry san His Roka Boy job and Enat. Kerry, how about the overnight city is? It must be it. Super awesome fun! With me. I want you to meet someone. V. Respect. His old friend. Met him walking in Memphis. Off Beale. Ages ago. Hey. He's got preem stuff. Give your friends and family discounts, so. Of course, Mr. Uridine. Special rate for your friends. Well, let's see what you got. Ah, uh, you could talk biz later. Come with me. I want to show you something. Congrats, Care. Decent show. Now that that's behind us, what's Carrie Uridine's next mission? Hit on Kovacek? Very funny. But yeah, not about to let him get away with it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But the bastard's gonna regret making me sign those papers. You try to get out of that deal with the label? Ah, let's be real. Say I break contract. Then what? Who's gonna release my new tracks? Who's gonna deal with distribution, promotion, influencers, media? Labels have got them all in their pockets. You're out with them, you're out, period. Well, you'd be free. Seriously? Free to sing until you're blue in the face? Nobody hearing a thing? It's just another kind of cage. Show you one of my favorite spots in Night City. Don't come here often, but when I do, it's important. Should I feel special? Maybe. Told him to shut the place down for the day. <sighs> Can't get enough of this view. Love looking at this city from above. Well, only place you fall asleep thinking you're special than wake up knowing you're no one. Carrie, I can see something's eating you. Keep thinking about our conversation at Caliente. Us cracks, you and the slaves to the corpo grind. Mm -hmm. Guess I wasn't completely honest with you. Or myself, for that matter. Talk to me. See, thought I was afraid everybody think me another corpo slave. But I was just afraid I'd be in someone's shadow again. 
Again? Lived in Johnny's for years. Part of the scenery, machinery. Helping him shine brighter. Never believed I'd make it on my own without Silverhand. That why he left Samurai. Fuck. But you did make it. Big, too. Only diehards remember Samurai now. You. Everybody knows your name. You think that changes anything? Wake up with the same thought every damn day. That I might somehow fade into this town's steam, stench, murk. For good. Night City's a city of shadows. And everything I could to walk clear of them for Still got a lot to prove to this city. But you? You're at the top. The city's yours. So what's there to be afraid of? Nah, we'll talk about this again someday. Once you're in my shoes. Think it's in the cards for me? I'm sure it is. Uh, we should get back. No one downstairs is waiting. For you. I uh, know. In the knockback a few to this town tonight, and to me in it. But I'm gonna stay up here a bit longer. You go ahead. Okay. See ya. Hey, Jude, what's up? Ah, uh, you know, same old. You? I got good days, got bad days. Same as ever. You, uh, call just to see how I'm doing, or...? Not just. Got a favor to ask you. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. No chance in your company. But now that we've <laughs> blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. Gotta say, I am intrigued. Why the wetsuit? <laughs> Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. You really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. All right then, count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Sure, what about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there, at sundown. Okay, um, uh, is this a date? <laughs> You're not my type, Holmes. Just show up. I'll see you there. After all that went down, I thought you and I'd be ancient history. Don't be a gonk. So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. We got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Any news from the Moxes? Events? Ideas? I don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes, is all. Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy. Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka and Militech and how the world's going to shit? Just rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. 
Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in, though. I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. What do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it? Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work ever. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why do we come all the way out of here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes man. What do you say? You in? Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat I don't secrete. You're more than welcome to stay on shore. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. All right, suit up, landlubber. Let's get this scroller on ya. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. Don't go there, dude. You haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? 50-50 chance, I guess. Willing to risk it for the footage. Water's toxic. That not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. All right, let's do this. Freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Stay close behind me, and don't descend too fast. Where are we headed exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? Nah, why bother? I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. sensors and scrolling. Circle around me, swim. Great, motion calibrated. Back my way now, V. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song, you give me 
give me the title. Read me. But I hear you just fine. Need a wider range. Levels can't be short of perfect. Hey, I know that. Ed is Sorrentino. Only you. Dead on. All right, that ought to do it. What now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. Now grab this and hold on tight. Down we go. NC Dam Limited made plans to build a dam. People protested, and the rest is history. Houses, playgrounds, all flooded. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? Want to get the right emotional reactions. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why does this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. It's taken me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time. Gear, stars weren't ever aligned. The truth is, the very idea just felt weird. This fell off your one and only eatery. Let's see now, your childhood tasted like scop dogs from Capitan Caliente with habanero sauce extra hot. Of course, tasted even better when you stole them off the stand. You know what they say, it ain't caliente if it don't burn on the way in and out. Place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? 
Nah, not much. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. You like it? You kidding? It's awesome. Hockey stick? Is there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Quit schmoozing, Alvarez. We're losing because of you. Come in. You're dead meat anyway. Here, take this camera. Put it off in your hands and sit in here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks. What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. I still have her picture, but, you know, I see a stranger there. Judy, Judy, watch out for her cooties. What was that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. What was it like living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told. Ugh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Temperamental, huh? It explains a lot. Is that a dominant family trait? No idea what you're talking about. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. I still go and visit them sometimes. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. For anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around though. Picking up very chill vibes. Well, feels like we're outside of time. Like in a snow globe. After that we can see what lies up ahead. Hard to imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Mmm. Bottled water? <laughs> Touché, Judy. Touché. Gotta say, I don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. Good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. What, this isn't yours? Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours? No. It was Jenny Chapman's. took her doll. As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? Why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid, where daily life grinded along, <laughs> can imagine it a bit. Ha! <laughs> Church hasn't aged at all. The whole 
always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. I gave off this eerie, atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that seconds ago. Now I can almost hear him. I don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. Ah! Closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. Do you like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just... there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <sighs> Look around. And this, what is it? Oh, no way. Can't be. You found the heart of Laguna Bend. The most precious gem in all Cali, maybe even the world, could buy all of Arasaka and Militech and then some for it. For real? <laughs> nah, I got no idea what that is. I found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind, looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts, and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. You didn't get chased off? I ran out myself. Echo, I got back scared because of the Jesus out of me. Thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling out flew right back in my face. Ah! Passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful, easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Heard something weird just now. Sounded like complaining? Complaining? That the best you got, kid? You heard that? It's incredible. Never happened before. But uh, no worries. It's Johnny Silverhand's construct. You heard his thoughts, not mine. Johnny? What? You remember the relic? The reason for the whole damn heist? Well, Johnny Silverhand's digitized psyche was on it. And, well, his personality is seeping into my mind, taking over. You could say his mind's overriding mine. Oh, shit, B. That mean you're disappearing? Can you stop it? And here we go. I got an idea, a plan, but I just don't know if it'll... Well, work. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Stay where, exactly? We gonna camp on the shore? No, in there. Crash there sometimes after dives. 
How about it? Why the hell... not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but... Then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. Must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? A uh, black, please. Like the heart of a merc. Ah, forgot to start the generator. I can turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. Think you could have fine-tuned the emotive wave transmitters better back there. Feet I was picking up felt a bit... flat, I wanna say. Power's up! You go that room to the city, you'll always win. So be careful. Judy? Shit. What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No. Nothing. You thinking about Evelyn? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw No Next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. Didn't want to tell you. Didn't want you to think I blame you in any way. Why would you even assume I'd think that? Dunno, I... I'm sorry. Let's just kill the subject. Think I'll... go... lie down. I'm beat. It's on my nerves. That's you and me below. Just don't wake her up. Judy pisses you off. Why? Because she cares about people? And that reminds you you're a narcissistic asshole? She's all over the place. Refuses to take the door, jumps out a window, then acts all surprised when she gets hurt. She reminds you of all, doesn't she? Oh, for no, nobody's even close to Alt and what me and her had. Let's get the fuck away, can we? You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone, middle of nowhere. No, I can't talk to you when you get this. Sentimental. Waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue.
Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Morning. Finally. You know, yesterday I think I'd made up my mind. I actually called you because I wanted to say goodbye. City's chewed me up. And spitting me out. Look, Night City's not for everyone. I grew up here. Thought nothing could surprise me. And now? I'd pack up my shit and bail too, if I could. But it's just not the right time. Give me your hand, B. Why? What for? Don't say anything. Just give me your hand. All set, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa, you're asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Sure about this? We haven't known each other that long. I like you. Consider you a friend. The way I see it, there's nothing else to consider. Take care, V. It's really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. See no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days, then head off. It's been nice knowing you, V. See ya. And hit me up on the hollow sometimes. I'll see ya, Judy. God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, we Delta. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Let's step to it then. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now... I knew. From the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. Helped your brother cover up. Makes you no better than him. Not a smidge. You do not know my family. Not in the least. My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, Ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh. Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. 
But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm-hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge. Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Three times now, that AB has flown by. Think someone might have tailed you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that. Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. And you'll help me in exchange for... My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. <clears throat> Sounds like you Is want to avenge dead old order? dad. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen. Mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arisaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamuru said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. No wish to, or no permission, you being a woman? I decide my own fate, as should you. So... Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka Top Brass? Call me crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. This I know. And that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? You will see. Offers intriguing. Need to think about it. 
Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. Let's fly the fuck out of here. V, do you feel all right? Huh? You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Uh, I'll think it over. You could use some air. Right now. Stand on your own two feet. While well, I'm good to go, Body listens to me. See what I'm getting at? Of course I can see. You want me to hand over the keys? I want to save your life. Pop some pseudo endotrizine, scooch, and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Makoshi. Yeah? How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she'd have stuck her neck out for you half a century ago, but now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Socket Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. It's our only chance. Do I even need you? I could ask Rogue myself. Won't take a risk this big with someone she still sees in Merc diapers. With me, it'd be just like old times. Monaco's offers on the table. I'm sorry. Whose? Oh, cut the crap. She actually has power. Could be our ticket. Yeah, one-way ticket to the city morgue. That sucker cunt scrambled your circuits. Rogue and I will handle this, just like we used to. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen, I know you and Pan Am got a thing going. I get it. I do. But that's what makes it such a shitty idea. You don't want to rope her into this. Made the same mistake myself once. You don't want those people involved, their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. Need more time. Need to... Don't you get it? Time is something we are fresh out of. Gotta stop you, dickhead. What's your scheme? This is my body. I make the calls. Not this time. Uh, Johnny! Jesus, look at you. Can't even... Great, you checking out again? Easy there. Don't move just yet. Vic? You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head... Ah! Almost done, stabilizing the biochip. Uh, feels like... Someone's using your head as a knife block? 
how... how'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Talman was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh, wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Order a weaker poison next time. This ain't no joke, kid. As I see it, there won't be a next time. All right, that should be a little better. Try sitting up, carefully. Okay, but don't expect a miracle. Ah! Just slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. If you got something to say, Vic, just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? I know, Vic. I'll try. Soon. No. You'll do it now. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah? What about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotrys in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Give it a fucking rest, Johnny. It's my decision. And I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, it's in, not this in this basement. basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. How loud? What? Just go fix this thing. I think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. <laughs>